Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and one of the things that I get asked all the time and it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. Can I change the language of my Windows 10 install in the April or the October 2018 update? This will also work in the future version of the uh, April 2019 update. Yes, you can as long as you don't have that famous N version. So if you have Windows 10 N, N is for single language. You will not have that possibility. But for the most part, yes, you can. And all you have to do is go into your settings. Then you'll go into time and language. Here, you'll select language. Now what happens is you have display languages and you have different languages that you can add. So first of all, Windows Display Language here is set in English United States. What you do is you click Add a Windows Display Language with Local Experience Packs. It will bring you to the Microsoft Store. Here, just search for the language that you want to install. And um, so, for example, if I would like to install uh, French, let's just check out where French is. Um, somewhere in here, there must be a French experience. It is somewhere down here, probably. I will look at it here. Let's uh, search for it here. Let's say French and see if it brings me that uh, search for the local experience. Yes, it is. Here it is. Bonjour, France France. So you can actually search for it on the upper uh, search corner and it will actually come out. Or else, and you click Get button. What this is going to do is going to add a language to your computer. So you click the Install button. And what you will have to do next, once this is installed, is you will have to choose the Windows Display Language once the language is installed on the computer. Once that is installed, that choosing of a language will actually have effect after you actually restart the computer. So as long as you stay within the same um, you know, session, that is going to be uh, still the same language. So you got to choose which language is the preferred language in your computer once it's installed. As you see here, the language packs take a certain time to install. So you got to let them do what they need to do in order to work. Once they have that language installed, so here I've got a language pack for French Canada, uh, you can click on it and you can click. You see there are arrows that move the language up or down and you have options also with this uh, language pack that's available. So you need to change the um, option so that it is the first language that appears on your computer. So once you have these languages, the display language will be the first one that you see. So you see here in order, I've got English, United States. Then I would say, okay, let's say that French Canada is the one that I want second and then France. So you'll have some languages that you can move from. If you want to have a different language, replace English, for example, well, all you have to do is click on the language and click the arrow so that it will be the first one on the list. And that will be the thing. Of course, here you also have languages that you can choose. If you don't see the language, so for example, here you see that I have French, French, that says default M language will be display language, and so on. Uh, remember one thing is that if the language packs are not installed properly, if they're not all downloaded, you won't have the language choice. You see here in French Canada, if I go to options, it says that I have a language pack to download. You got to download all of the available language packs if you want to make sure that these will be um, languages that you'll be able to choose on your Windows. So once again, I'll just put it back here to English United States as this is what I want. So you just play around with languages and language packs and uh, you'll be able to install 
these uh, language packs and change the language. But you got to restart your PC for this to have an effect. Remember, all the apps and programs you've installed will not have that language. That means if you have installed an app from the Microsoft Store, it will stay in the default language. What you need to do is uninstall it and get it again from the Microsoft Store. Then it will be in the language that you want. Same thing for uh, Desktop 32 uh, programs. They need to be installed in the proper language or they will stay in their native language that there is on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.